Hey, welcome back to Danford Golf. Today we're going to talk about some of the common mistakes that we make when we set up to it. Even though these are common, they're often not talked about. Uh, so you might even find that you're doing one of these mistakes and you don't even know it or maybe you haven't watched a YouTube video that's actually talked about it. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. That way you can see all the future videos that we have coming out this year and give us a comment or a like and uh, we'll go ahead and get going on those common mistakes that are not so commonly talked about. So when it comes to our setup, I'm not going to talk too much about overall posture with the mistakes that we make. Uh, some of them will be kind of postural related, but more it's the positions that we tend to get into. So first we're going to talk about your knees when you set up to it. A lot of the time, mistakes that we see is our knees are in a weak position, which means you might see that your knees are kind of knock kneed in or close together. What that does, it makes you very unstable when you swing, and if you're unstable, it's going to be hard for you to stay on balance. It's going to be very hard for you to be powerful. All right, if any of you out there do lifting or squats, every instruction is talking about as you start to squat down, your knees should actually feel like they widen away from each other because that is a structurally stronger place than when they bend in. Okay, so what, the first thing I want you to feel like you're doing, if you're somebody who finds that your knees are knock kneed in, you're gonna feel like you actually press them out. Okay, it's almost like you can stick a ball in between your knees. Your kneecaps should track over the top of your shoes. Okay, if you find that your stance is pretty narrow and you're doing that, you're gonna see that the inside of your feet kind of roll off the ground. That means let's go ahead and get our stance a little bit wider. So when our knees go into that strong position that our feet still feel solid on the ground. The second mistake that we commonly have when we set up to the ball is a lot of us are slicers out there, so we take this really strong left hand grip and the shoulder starts to kind of roll in, okay? Which again is a very weak position. So we got the strong grip, our shoulders rolled in. If you look at it from down the line, it kind of looks like everything's pulled forward, all right? It's kind of disengaged everything out here. And again, it's a weak position. So one of the things that most people that slice the golf ball, they have that strong grip and they got that shoulder rolled forward, you're going to notice when they come down to the golf ball, their move is to kind of, they almost hike this shoulder up because it's not staying down, it's not staying strong for them to drop it down. So when you set up to it, I want you to feel like you shrug your shoulders up, pull them down. It's okay if you take that strong grip, but you just can't let it get up into to the side like that. So the third common mistake that I see is when people set up with their arms, okay? If you're just walking or standing straight up and down, you can see that your arm, your elbow pits, whatever you want to call them, kind of stick forward or maybe turn in towards themselves a lot, all right? Or unless you have bad posture and you're kind of really shrunk, then they're going to really face one another, okay? So once again, an easy fix is shrug your shoulders up and pull everything down and back, okay? So these armpits should be facing forward and so when you set up to it I want you to have that same feeling of them facing forward they don't have to be facing that way that's kind of uncomfortable and again it's going to be you're going to see my posture starts to roll so up down when you set up to it keep them there all right this is just going to make everything aligned much better in your golf swing so if you see from down the line my arms hide each other but if I roll one shoulder or another shoulder Right? You're going to see that I can see different forms. They don't look like they're hiding behind each other. They should look like they're square in one piece. So up, down, and set them down. Armpits are going to hang forward. This is also going to help your grip unless you have a messed up grip. Then you got to watch some of the past videos on how to fix that. And then you'll be all nice and set with a good solid posture. Your back's going to be nice and flat. Your arms are going to be in a good position. And you're going to be engaging the scapular muscles, which help you stay in good swing plane rather than coming over the top, which is a lot of that shoulder rolling forward move. The fourth and last common mistake that I come across when people are working on their posture or their setup is how they aim. A lot of the times we think, oh, I should aim my feet at the target, uh, which is great, but you're actually aiming to the right. So if you think about aiming at the target with your feet, all right, my left arm, and then aiming at the target with my right arm, all right, you can see that I'm actually aimed to the right. So if I actually want to aim at the target, your feet have to be aimed left, 
and then you can see how it's I'm aimed right at you. So when you set up to it, if you're aiming your feet right at the flag stick up there, you're actually going to be aimed to the right. So you have to retrain yourself to feel like, oh, I'm, I'm actually aiming left, but actually aiming left means I'm actually aimed at the target. All right, so I hope those four common and uncommon things that we talked about right here when it comes to our setup help you. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Leave us a comment, give us a like, thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you back here with our next video in about a week.